What's up everyone out there? My name is Jordan Poole, AKA DJ Royale, and we are here at Stratus Lounge at Hotel Monaco in Old City, Philadelphia. And I have the pleasure of sitting with Alexandria Dior. I love it. Um, yes, you do. <laughs> uh, and she is known for uh, being a community organizer, specifically for the Tech Week here in Philadelphia, but that has now opened up plenty of other doors yes. of creative and professional opportunities for you. And when I was looking you up just the other week, uh, obviously seeing that you're working with Coded, coded, coded by Kids. Coded by Kids. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Which I know you said you are specifically uh, interested in helping black and brown communities, specifically more engagement with the tech world, the mm -hmm. educational aspect of that. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it specifically that you were drawn to coded for kids by and like what's what's really what's going on question. over there that is a perfect question okay. um, um while i had my position mm -hmm. um curating that community calendar over the three years uh they were the one organization that i admired from afar um knowing the co-founder was like philly born and raised um left philadelphia for a, like a substantial amount of time came back and decided to champion his city with the skills that he picked up uh, mm -hmm. while being a Marine. Like it's, he's teaching kids how to build mobile applications and websites from absolute scratch. There's no two year certification that they're going to have to retrain for. Right. Like they're, he's not, he doesn't want to create the new working core. Like he wants right. to, he wants to <laughs> like, he wants to mobilize black kids with the skills that could have them making 80k out of high school. Right, right. That's no, who else is doing that yeah, in Philadelphia? That's that's amazing. Yeah. If there is anybody else doing that, I don't know of them. So. <laughs> and for free, these programs are free. They're completely backed by by funders. Like it, this is free. This is right, this, right. It's that's actual access. That's amazing. On that note, I was gonna say I met you through a Tech Week event. Mm -hmm. At least that was my initial recalling of us meeting at an event. And it was 100% your energy <laughs> in just life in general that I was like, oh, this is a unique individual. Like, <laughs> I should keep my eye on her. You know what I mean? That's so awesome. there's like the uncontrollable wildness. And then there's like the, the appropriate amount of like wild energy that is, I feel like, necessary to create an interesting and creative person. So I feel yeah. like I'm good at like seeing that and be like yeah that person they i get really it. appreciate they get that i'm they not i'm not too wild and crazy yeah i mean <laughs> I, I, i'm still getting to know you so i'm the uh, right there i'm the right okay perfect right now i was gonna say right now it seems like the right amount of sweet sour mm -hmm. spicy all the flavors so um so you know philadelphia why why is philly a great place for you to live work play build connect, organize? Um, why Philly? I mean, why not Philly? Um, that's, that's the real question. I've, I've been here for more than half of my life now. Um, since I was 13 years old, I left a little bit for school, I went to New York, came right back, and I've traveled up and down the Mid-Atlantic to the West Coast. Um, internationally, there's no other city like Philadelphia. Like that small town, big city feel is so unique here. Mm -hmm. I, I can leave my house and I'll run into five people that I know, mm -hmm. but like, but I'm still surrounded by strangers all the time. Like, I don't, th I don't think any other city has that sort mm -hmm. of experience. Like it, it, we are, we're rare mm -hmm. in, in that, in that aspect. And I mean, working like m me and my mission, like my, my, my career focused mission, I don't, I feel like we need it. I, I, I would be doing, my city a disservice if I if I left with with like these unfinished things on my heart like I mm -hmm. I need to I need to do something here I need to I need to have some sort of positive impact on my city before I try and depart it you're obviously in the in the tech world I mean how much time are you spending online engaging with just anything digital versus you know, real life engagement. Cause you are very, you're a personality. So obviously it seems to me like you're a person who like, n you can't just be sitting behind a screen. You need to engage <laughs> with the real world. Yeah. Um, I'd say it's half and half, honestly. Um, you know, it's a, a lot of, 
a lot of it is admin work, like the behind the scenes, like every every graphic or promo that that is put out into the world, somebody has to create it. Every email that's sent, like that's hours of correspondence mm -hmm. back and forth with these humans just for you to put on a four hour event. Um, yeah. yeah, it's, um, it, I would say it's half and half though, because even though, even when I'm not hosting my own event, I feel like I sort of have to be a professional networker of mm -hmm. sorts, because when you're, when you're trying to elevate people, it's always, you're, you're always connecting them to three other people beyond mm. you. I, I can't help everybody right. personally. Right, right. <laughs> so yeah, right. like I feel like uh, the the more my network can expand, the more I can like place people in certain like skill set buckets, um, the better off I am. So right, it's right. definitely split up half and half. Yeah. What is it for you that compels you to leave the comfort of your house, go out? you know, to check out an event, to go be an explorer. I know you showed up to one of my events this summer <laughs> and we're like, I, I saw it on your face. You were like, oh, okay, <laughs> like this is something. It was but you, awesome. But you had no idea what you were coming to mm -hmm. and I assume you showed up solo, so. I, 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 did, I showed up with a friend, but but um, that was, yeah, Rondé was amazing. You, yeah. you should definitely do another one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like, um, but. What, what gets me out of the house? I think, well, primarily it's because I'm working remotely most mm -hmm. of the days. Like I'm, I get up, I go down to my dining room table, I'm sending emails for a few hours at a time. Um, so yeah, when I have an opportunity to leave my house and see other people and mm -hmm. have a good time, um, I typically take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like, who doesn't like turning up with their friends? Is there anything though, like specifically maybe to Philadelphia that you're like, Ooh. there's, you know, there's always a lot of different things going on. We have so many cultural options. Yeah. Is there anything you're like, this is what pulls me out to be in a room full of these people or I'm in, interested in like food environments or music environments or... Um, do you like, do you want me to name a specific event? You can if you want to. Oh no, but that's like... You can, you, yeah, it's fine. Are you sure? You, what? Like you can plug other things here. We're, Are you positive? This is, this is local love. Okay, so, okay. You know. Cause I don't want to, I don't want to name things that, um, that compete directly with you though. Like friends and family. If, if, oh, but that's, I mean, no, I don't see that as a direct competition. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, Saturday. if you were to name another rooftop lounge, that might be like awkward. You'd be like, <laughs> really? Just gonna be like, I would just say like, yeah, name another experience. But no, like exactly. It can be, that's the thing is like, this is about highlighting all that is dope. Okay. You know? No, I love that. Um, does it have to be a party? Like, any kind of experience. You could talk about like, Oh, I like to go to the museum on Wednesdays, or I like to go to this cooking class because what I don't know. I'm just I'm interested. Like I said, people have so many things to engage them at home mm -hmm. or, or wherever they're at, right on their phone. Yeah. So what is it for you that's pulling you out of the house? Is it to be in a room of, of a certain type of people? Is it to have a certain creative experience? Is it to have a certain like I'm just sitting here as a as a passive listener watcher like. Ah. Um, do you like interactive stuff? I do, I like all of those things, and that's what I. Uh, like, that's why are you making me choose? That's such a confusing question because I'm I'm like I feel like I've been to, I've been to all of those things and enjoyed them um, like uniquely, uh, and maybe that's what's so awesome about Philly is that we have we have like those selections. I have mm -hmm. options when I go out, mm -hmm. and most of the time it is like I have to choose between two parties. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, me and my friends will do a coin toss and if one's whack, we'll leave and go to the next one. Like, <laughs> same night. And that's, that's amazing to be able to do that. And you don't have to, like, we're, we're unlike New York in the sense that like, we're, we don't, we're not an hour and a half away in boroughs. Like, we, I, right, we right. can travel across the city to another party in one night. Yes, yeah, for sure. I love that. You don't have to commit to, yeah, one neighborhood right. necessarily. How are you contributing to the story of Philadelphia now and how do you see yourself contributing that story in the future? If I could do anything, like if I could leave like a mark on my city, it doesn't have to be like a large one. Mm -hmm. I would love for my impact to be like where I live. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm in the process of doing a lot of things, but one thing that I have um, already piloted and has been successful, thus I'm bringing it back is um, my philanthropic event. It's uh, a benefit barbecue is what I like to call it. Um, it is a annual fundraiser for community associations in King Sessing. That's, that's my neighborhood in West Philly. 
and um, all proceeds go to local community associations. This year, we're actually donating half of it to Coded by Kids mm -hmm. and half of it to the King Sessing Roadrunners, cool. which is like the local rec center team. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it's just like a, a cute, fun-filled outdoor event um, where a bunch of community partners donate like uh, activations for a really good attending experience. And everybody comes out to this beautiful oasis in the middle of West Philly. And it's, it was magical last year. And I'm so glad that I got to do it again. Uh, yeah, every, they asked for it. And I feel like it's going to create a, a life of itself. Um, and, that, and that'll be my impact, it, if, if um, at all, that will be my impact. Nice. Yeah. I love that and appreciate that about you. Thank you for being a truly genuine and authentic person You're welcome. here in Philadelphia. Thank you again for being here. Okay. Alex, where can we find you online in real life? Is there any sort of projects you want to plug? Yes. Um, well, you can find me online. Um, my Instagram is Alexandria V, with the two E's, T H E E, greatest, just as it's spelled. And that's Alexandria, like the city in Egypt. In Virginia. Well, again, I appreciate your time and energy, and thanks for being an awesome human being. Cheers. Cheers. It's nice to know you. Yes, yeah, nice to know you too. Yeah, I, and thanks for whiskey. <laughs> <laughs>